Hello, everyone. Welcome to Science Coffee. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Science Coffee in China webinar titled Deploying Robots in the Real World. I'm Shou Peng Liu. Uh, I'm thrilled to see so many of you joining us online today. Uh, about thousands of people now, and I, I believe more will come in soon. And uh, uh, my name is Shou Peng Liu. I'm responsible for the outreach and the training activities in Asia uh, in, at Science AAAS, and I will moderate today's webinar. Um, Science Cafe in China uh, wants to spotlight Chinese researchers. Uh, in particular, their research that has been published in science magazine and the science family journals. That's our way of giving back to the Chinese scientific community. Uh, however, uh, our stretch, uh, our focus stretches far beyond China. Uh, this theory is designed for global community. Additionally, uh, Science Cafe strives to exciting exchange among peers. Um, and we want to inspire the, the, uh, the peers, the researchers, to look beyond their field of research um, for fresh ideas. Okay, uh, with, without further ado, I'm very pleased to introduce our panelists to you now. Uh, Dr. Amos Matsuko uh, from Cambridge, UK. He is the editor of Science Robotics. And also we have speakers, Professor Li Zhang from Chinese University of Hong Kong. Hello, Dr. Li, Dr. Zhang. And uh, also Professor Li Wen from uh, Beihang University. Hello, Professor. Okay. Uh, Professor Fu Zhang from University of Hong Kong. Hello, Professor Zhang. Hello. So, who all we will hear from shortly. Also, after the speaker's presentation, we will also have a short Q&A session. And during this session, we will answer some of the questions to you. So please think about your questions now and uh, submit it in the chat box and click submit. And also, uh, we have guests in the Zoom, and when I'm asking the question, please turn on your camera and uh, microphone first and introduce yourself. And uh, please, of course, turn off your camera and, and microphone after asking the question. Uh, okay, now let's begin. In science fiction, we have seen many robots with superpowers. In the real world, scientists design robots with many functions and verify them in the field ex experiment. From micro and aero, uh, from micro and nano machines, bionics to argument human capabilities and to um, unmanned aero vehicles we call UAVs in Como. Um, they can be not only tiny okay. enough to human body for diagnosis and treatment, they can also be large enough for delivery uh, uh, as well as uh, huh? uh, monitoring the environment. These robots have various ways of navigation. They are and uh, they have all kinds of control and planning strategies. And many robots also have have means of interaction with the real world to accomplish several tasks but also to enable them to perform these tasks autonomously without direct human control. And our webinar today is about deploying robots in the real world. And our speakers will introduce their work related to their recent publication in Science Robotics, our magazine. And at the beginning of the presentation, our editor, Amos Matsiko, uh, he will uh, the editor of Science Robotics, he, will, he would like to say a few words about the journey of uh, Science Robotics from beginning to this day. And also he will introduce some future directions that the journal plans to go towards. So Amos, would you like to start? Sure, 
Um, thanks, Xiu Peng. Hopefully, you can see my slides. Yeah. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thank you so much for the introduction. Um, it's an honor to be part of this event. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to be uh, able to share some of our, our work, science robotics. Um, so if you don't mind muting your uh, microphone when you're uh, talking, please. Um, so yeah, I'll give a brief overview of, of the Journal of Science Robotics and touch on some areas that we're looking to expand on in the coming years. Um, so Science Robotics was founded in uh, 2016, and the mission was to promote advances in research and development of robotics for all environments. And it's also uh, an aim to, to provide a forum for discussion of these uh, scientific findings, um, but also other aspects related to advances of science. Um, and uh, our scope covers a very broad range of topics from actuators and soft robotics, autonomous vehicles to medical robotics, bionics, and even social robotics as well. Um, in fact, since the inception of science robotics, the field of robotics has expanded quite broadly and now encompasses a wide range of other areas. And at the journal, we do our best to try and stay up to date with the community. And, and so we're always adjusting um, our scope. Um, indeed, some of the advances in areas like artificial intelligence and material science, for example, have played a really big role in terms of um, um, expanding the, the scope of robotics as a field. And um, well, what do we look for uh, science robotics in our papers. Um, the most important thing is the originality of the work. Um, the conceptual advance must be substantial, uh, especially when you compare to previous related work. Uh, we're not looking for incremental advances on existing literature. And on the other hand, the milestones must also be obvious and substantial in terms of overcoming technical challenges. And related to that, the work must also address a long-standing problem or question. Uh, the study must also have some applicability to a system, either immediately or potentially in the future as well. And the long-term implications of the work must also be important, not just for your own field, but potentially other areas as well. Um, in addition, the findings must also be unexpected in the sense that they alter the way we think about a problem. And finally, the work must also open up new opportunities beyond um, the immediate area of research as well. Now, in the first five years of Science Robotics, um, since it was founded, uh, we published some um, very important papers in all sorts of areas in robotics. Um, some of the highest number of submissions came from topics like soft robotics, medical robotics, um, exoskeleton suits and prosthetics, and also human-robot interaction. And my mission in the next five years is to grow this even further, um, firstly, by reaching out to new communities related to robotics uh, in order to cover more areas uh, and secondly, also to have more regions across the world represented in our publications. I'm sure many of you have seen um, this perspective article, which we published, which we published in, in 2018. Um, uh, the title was The Grand Challenges of Science Robotics. And we essentially carried out a survey of uh, the robotics community to identify the most important areas that would have an impact um, in the field but also in society at large. And we narrowed this down to 10 key areas. And these included uh, power and energy, robot swarms, um, medical robots, artificial intelligence, ethics, and many others. Um, although this was published in 2018, it's still very relevant today, and we're still very interested in publishing papers in these topics. Uh, we're also very keen um, on studies which uh, focus on the deployment of robots in the real world. So I'm very excited to, to be part of this session. Um, although we also have a, a keen interest in fundamental scientific and engineering studies, especially those that shift the paradigm, we're also very keen in promoting studies that take the robots away from the laboratory and into the real world. And uh, moreover, as these robots are deployed in various environments, we're also keen on studies and the focus on things like ethics, social and safety issues uh, during the deployment. Uh, and we also want studies that address problems that exist in the real world, not just those that occur in the laboratory or in theory. Um, so I'll just finish off by highlighting some of our special issues, which we're aiming to publish next year. Um, so if you have papers related to these topics, um, please consider submitting to Science Robotics. Um, these topics will be in 
telerobotics, embodied intelligence, autonomy in medical robotics, and also robots for education. Um, so yeah, please do consider submitting to science robotics next year. And um, yeah, so finally, I just want to thank you. I know many of you have been referees for us and authors, so we're very honored to to have you as part of our community. And yeah, I'm happy to take questions after this. Thank you.